Hi guys and welcome to our latest kitchen tour. We are here in Enfield on one of the most prestigious roads in this area. It's an absolutely beautiful house. Behind me you're gonna see this is a real showstopper of a kitchen. But before we get into it, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments if there's anything in particular you wanna see in future. So you will see behind me, this is a different take on a kitchen to one that we would normally do. We have utilized thin frame shaker doors, we call them our marlar bone doors, and you'll notice actually that the doors have a handle notch cut out here for the handles. The handles are these beautiful R. Mac Martin spark brook handles in an antique brass, and the furniture is painted in Farrow and Ball schoolhouse white. The island is a beautiful size. We've got an overhang that acts as a breakfast bar. The client hasn't got their stools yet. And this is Neolith Calicutta Luxe. It's the soft finish, so it's almost like a, a leather texture. It's not polished, and it is an absolutely beautiful stone. It's got those beigey, goldy tones that have been brought through in the rest of the kitchen. Coming round to the main first run of tall units, you'll notice thin frame cabinetry. You'll see that we've matched up all of the uh, lines to run through. And then this first unit here is the pocket door breakfast larder. We've got this lovely bra uh, black brown serrano oak as the internal, LED strip lighting on three sides, adjustable shelves, and the client has opted to run the same worktop all the way through. Uh, you can see toaster, kettle, coffee machine, uh, and then drawers internally. This is the perfect breakfast setup. Coming around onto the next tool unit, we have the first oven stack. Now these are Gaganau 400 series, so you'll notice they sit 40 mil proud from the face of the cabinet work, and these are 76 centimeter wide. These are as big as you can get, uh, literage wise, without breaching into a commercial uh, oven territory. So press the button on the door, these open, you've got these beautiful enamel internals, really nice and spacious size oven. And then underneath this, we've got the Gaganau 29 centimeter warming drawer, and this is the same as the uh, tool sack on the other side of this hob run, nice and symmetrical. Above this, we've got just a uh, fully shelved unit. You'll notice that we've pinned these two doors together to make sure that the shaker panels run all the way through nicely. And then underneath at low level, we've got a push to open super deep drawer. The client's using it for baking trays and dishes, etc. So coming around, this is one of the most stunning feature walls we've ever done in the kitchen. Genuinely, I love this. So we've got this Neolith um, Calicutta Luxe worktop. It is a porcelain top and it has been book matched beautifully to underneath this bespoke extractor. So this is a brush bronze um, boxing that we've made. And then you've got the Western extractor that sits internally here. The client's opted for some sconces either side, which I think work really, really nicely. And then you'll notice the same cabinetry on this run, handle notch through here. These are drawers, all drawers. We've got the uh, 800 wide Gaganau induction hob. And then you'll see here, uh, internal drawers. These are Bloom uh, Legra box stainless steel sided drawer boxes. Uh, that's the internal drawer, you push that back and then you've got one drawer here and a deeper drawer at low level. This is pushed to open, so you'll notice handles only on the top drawers. Really, really nice. On the other side, we've got the main uh, wet area, so we've got an 800 wide, um, this is a Percourse white sink uh, by Frankie, and then we've got the Kuka Pro 3 Fusion Tap, normal hot and cold and boiling water, uh, that is in the gold finish. Uh, you'll notice here, something we don't do a lot, there's actually drawers under the sink, so you'll notice this actually has a U-shaped boxing that we've made to allow for the waste behind it. And then next to the sink, we have the dishwasher, which is fairly common, it's a Miele dishwasher, and then at the end of the run, we've got the integrated bin, two-part sorter bin, with an internal draw box that's usually uh, for bin bags, etc. Uh, another set of drawers here on the other side, internals again for utensils. And then we come to the other tool stack as discussed earlier. So above here, we've got the baking tray dividers vertically split. So we've got all of the chopping boards and trays and stuff, nice and organized. Got some heavy duty cast iron pots and pans at high level. Again, the same 760 Gaganel 400 series setup, oven with a 29 centimeter warming drawer below. And then turning the corner here, we have more tool storage. So here we have two glass fronted Legra box drawers. And then at low level, we've actually got a Le Mans corner. So we're really making use of all of that corner storage at low level. Anti-slip mats there so nothing falls over. And then we've got side by side a tall larder fridge and a tall larder freezer, both by Liebherr, really, really nice models. You see here the freezer is a number of drawers with an ice maker internally, and then the fridge has uh, some vegetable drawers at low level. And then in terms of more storage, we've got this pull-out tandem larder, lots of racks for pastas, dried goods, etc., crisps, um, works really, really nicely. And then finally, a lovely pièce de résistance. We have built a secret walkthrough door. This is for the client's utility room. So this is where I'm gonna leave you and say thank you for watching. 
stay tuned for the next one.